Everything looks good from where I'm sitting. Taxi to the runway and take off. All right. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be. Time and space back. We are so close to finding our first pyramid in Mexico. Well, not finding it, getting to the location. Anyway, this is uh, day four of, of our co cross country coming down from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Yeah, and yeah, boy, has the terrain been interesting? It's been fantastic. Anyway, we parked here last night, had a great uh, camp out here right next to this fantastic river. And now we're going to be looking for a job that'll take us much closer to where we're going. Hopefully we can get uh, paid heading over that way. And it's not too far now. Let me get a couple of things loaded here so I can pull up some maps. I got to get the Bush Talk radio thing loaded here. And then I can show you right where we're at and we're going to get going here. Okay, so Bush Talk is open now. That'll help us locate some things here. Getting a little bit late start. I was finding out about coin, coin based blockchain wallet stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, Bush Talk. Believe that'll pop up. Yep, good. The auto scene switcher seems to be working, and let's see if it's found. It has found us. Okay, so we're zooming in. We're down here in Mexico. I can't seem to get rid of this thing here, so pardon that thing blocking most of our darn view. But as I start zooming down. This is where we're currently at and where we camp by this little river. All right. And our first pyramid is going to be right down the road at Poza Rica. And there's even a marker for it right here in Bush Talk for the uh, El Tajin. If I pronounced that right, that pyramid. Now this one, well, as we'll find out when we get there, uh, I've already discovered that it's unique in the fact that, you know, when you imagine most of the pyramids, you know, just stepped pyramids, and then they have little steps on the side. These have got little niches cut into it. And I'm really excited to see if any of these at all are going to be visualized in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And hopefully it's just not a square, flat, satellite image with nothing there so we're gonna find out okay so we're looking for a job <laughs> that'll take us closer to El Tahin so let me pop over to Neofly now keep your eye on this map down here in the corner that shows us where we're at and again what we're what we're shooting for is just right over here at Poza Rica Rica so we're gonna be um as I scroll through the different jobs Try to shorten the distance. Not that short. That one's going north. Nope. Increase the distance a bit. Done. And then start scrolling through the jobs again. That one takes us right to Poza Rica. And then it's just driving across the highway from there to over here. If I'm not mistaken. Have you? By the way, it's right in there. Okay, so let's see about getting this job here, and let's kind of zoom in and see what the airfield looks like. Okay, so they do got an airport. We're not just flying to a dirt strip or some little tiny place. This one's actually got a runway. Okay. This up so I can see the bottom. Right at the moment, it's telling us we can't take a new job with the engine running, and that is correct. 
in NeoFly if you're set up and ready to go. In the caravan, one way to just trick it out and hopefully not st stop the engine all the way is just to bring the prop down and uh, the propeller's RPM down and the conditioner down a little bit. See if that, okay, you see the propeller slowing down? So now NeoFly, well, it's shut down. Sometimes you can just do it without it shutting down. But now, if I click away and then back on that job, it should now be available to us. Hi, pilot. New mission, new passengers. All right. Let me know when you are ready to start boarding. We are ready. We are absolutely ready. I'm excited. Pilot from dispatch. Boarding passenger, please stand by. Okay. So, while they're doing that, I better not try to do anything until they say complete and try to start the engine. Anyway, while they're doing that, give you a look around where we camped last night. Right behind us, we have this nice river we camped right here. Behind this set of buildings. Right over here along this uh, nice, nice river. Transporter from dispatch. All passengers on board. You can ask for the clearance to take off. All right. Want to get too far away from the plane? I might have to adjust the graphics. I think I turned everything up before we went to bed last night. Okay. Back into the cockpit. Propeller back into full, put the conditioner back into full, and toggle this switch right. Yeah, pull out the separator. All right, we really don't need to see the yoke. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. All right, let me dial in about I don't know, three thousand feet and see how we do. Close enough. All right, now we are going to MMAC, so let's plug a direct route into our GPS. Get the direct key. Big D key. Right, and then click connect, uh, bleh, bleh, then click on the keyboard icon so you can access your keyboard function. And plug in MMAC, MMAC. And then hit enter two times all right, we've got our GPS route set. The engine's all ready to go. We are ready to go. So how far is that? 134 miles. Hey. The plane is eager to go. Let me get us in the air, kick the autopilot in, get the music turned back up, relax. Remember, you're the VIP. Uh, Pilot, have a nice flight. Pick any seat or imaginary couch that you like back there. Loaded with snacks and drinks. And it's a smoking flight. Smoker-friendly flight, so... Make yourself at home. You're always the VIP on these. Uh, I was gonna do a turn. Normally, uh, just have it. Making a turn once you leave a runway. Right hand or left hand to get out of the traffic pattern. I'll just go ahead and make a turn anyway. But then we're going to be turning again back to the south. I've been really surprised. I thought it was going to be a lot of boring, deserty scrub, dusty Texas kind of thing. It hasn't been at all. It's been an eye opener, and it's been way more green than I thought. And uh, the terrain has just been really magical. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, you need to fly down here from Texas yourself. Wow, we are really lagging. I must have really brought up the uh, graphics too high. We're dropping a bunch of frames. Pardon me. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I have things way up. Uh, 
Don't normally have these on at all. Let's see if that makes the computer a little bit happier. More happy? Yeah, better. All right. Kick on autopilot. Hit AP on the console. We'll hit FLC on the console to do a flight level change. And we will click nav on the console. It doesn't seem like it wants to in uh, get onto the navigation. Do your direct key again. Hit enter twice again. Have it reestablish itself. And now you see it's now turning by itself. I'm not touching anything. The plane is now established on the GPS. And we're already at 3,000 feet. Oh. Um, hmm. 100 miles? Yeah, we might have some hills to get over there. But let's go up to 6. So keeping an eye on our altitude here, which is displayed right here, 3,300 feet. You need to use the knob on your console up here, the alt knob. And rotate this to the right while keeping an eye on that number. There we go. Going up to... And it's not... It won't take effect until we initiate the flight level change again. We're just dialing it in. I'm a little worried, actually. Go up to 10. Never know. One of those ahead of us could just be like 9,000. Random. I don't have Sky Vector open at the moment to confirm. Just, uh, play it by eye. Now, flight level change again. And make sure the flaps are all the way up. Okay, good. Uh, probably can turn off the inertial separator. That just uh, diverts any heavy objects coming that are sucked in by the engine lower to the ground. It diverts heavy objects that could mess up your engine and it shoots them out a different exhaust. So you'll want that on when you're coming in for a landing and taking off. That's the way I, uh, I know it and hope I'm not wrong. Yeah, those look pretty tall up ahead of us if we stay on this path. So hopefully... That'll do us as we get closer. We'll uh, make any adjustments accordingly. All right. So, so we get there. Let me uh, kind of get myself into relaxation mode here too. Turn up the music. I need to run and grab a refill. Make sure you're seeing everything okay. If you prefer any particular view, like being back here, and looking at things from outside of a window. Or if you prefer, you know, looking at things from the drone view, which I normally do. And I like zooming out so I get like a wide shot. And then I tilt it, the camera down just a bit. I really don't need to see the plane that much. I'm more interested in the landscape. That's kind of my favorite view right there. But if you have a favorite view, let me know. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for joining on this uh, next journey. I think we're going to keep going south after today's group. If we see how many we can get to today. And then we're going to have a big hop to the southern part of Mexico, which I've never been to. I'll be right back.
front and back. Get my headphones on. Whew. This thing tracking us right? Doesn't look look like it. Looks like we're going. We're not going the right way. I plugged in the wrong coordinate. Yep. I plugged in the wrong GPS ICAO. We're supposed to be going to MMPA. Good thing I caught that now before we got too far away. A duck? Yeah, it's much better. All right, sit now again. Come on, you. Oh, it paused when I hit P. There we go. When I was typing in N M M P A. P triggered a pause. That's better. And then our pyramid is going to be literally just right here next to MMPA. Oh, I hope we can see it. After that, we'll be heading inland again over this way, right in here, which should be the Teotihuacan complex. Temple of the Moon, Temple of the Sun. There's other ruins over this way and that away. Hopefully we can get to several of them. I do have them all on a Google map now, which I should probably bring up so you can see that. But I did finally find a, a Google map that does have them. So I'm able to find them easier now. Thank goodness. Uh, I don't need this up here. Sorry. Been in the way. So yeah, this all the terrain right now just looks rather normal. But when you come in from Texas, it was the most amazing thing. I really recommend you go back and check out video from the footage from two days ago. Even the first, even the first half of yesterday's video, we were still kind of in it. But the day before, as we were making our way right across the border from Texas down here, that will blow your mind. It looks like, how do I describe it? It looks like the whole world is like Minecraft or Topo map. Everything has got a pattern in the ground. Every inch of the ground is patterned. And again, it looks like a Topo map. And all the trees follow the lines and everything is so segmented. It's some of the coolest stuff I think I've ever seen. But it also kind of makes me understand like what we're going to look at now. We're going to look at pyramid complexes and the way that they're designed actually looks like the way the landscape is back there. It's weird because you're, I'm not getting so much of it here, but things over time change. But it's almost like they were mimicking the way that these formations were in the landscape behind us in some weird way. Either way, it, it, it's so hard for me to explain it. All I can do is, again, recommend that you check out that footage or make that flight for yourself from uh, me to go back over here and show you kind of where we came in at. 
we go back up here to Texas. There's Lubbock. We were in Denver, Texas. There's Midland. Okay, so we were this way, and we started cutting south from, from basically Midland and Odessa. See if we got any other places in here that I recall. Basically, yeah, Midland, Odessa, and then we started pretty much coming almost straight south towards Sabinas here. And we were making our way to Monterey. So, backing out again. You know, kind of like through all of this. So, this, this region, the land was blowing my mind. If I see more of it going on in the ground, I will absolutely start pointing it out again because it's just so noticeable. But I'm looking out at the terrain now and it's so flat that I don't. Maybe as we get closer to some of the, the mountains and now I'm seeing that we didn't need to be this high. I was worried about those, but now we're up plenty high. Plus it's all farmed and heavily uh, roaded. And I mean, you, you just, you really don't see any patterns in the ground out here even on some of those but some of those out there behind us they've got some really strange formations I took a, some interesting pictures yesterday okay we don't need to be so high anymore so let me come back down to come back down to about 3,500 feet. All right. 23 minutes after the hour, time for the smoke break. The smoke if you got them. enjoying this on a larger screen I was looking back at one of the playbacks and watching it and when it shrinks down <coughs> it really, to me it really, really becomes unbearable to watch <coughs> because it makes all the textures seemingly flicker everything looks like it's flickering at smaller resolutions so once it's spread out on a larger screen and I opened up the screen uh, it starts to look you know really good at the 1028 the large the, the closer you can get to the 1028 um i was hoping that at the start of this year that i would already be in a new rig but things are cards are coming out and prices might be coming down and some things are happening right now so i'm doing all right so Again, always looking for a better bargain. 
So it might just behoove me to wait a little while longer before we shoot for that new rig and uh, see what happens between all the, the card makers and yada, 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 yada. So, and my point with that is I would love to be able to show, uh, to be able to run this and uh, live stream everything at 4K, Ultra, 60 frames, yada, yada, yada. Um, and be able to just give you a much better experience. So, I look forward to that in the future. You can always help me with that, especially if you're loaded. You can always go into the uh, the chat and hit a super chat and drop some funds on me and help, help donate and help me get a new computer sooner than later. Until then, I gotta pinch the pennies. Hey, by the way, uh, I haven't said it enough coming into this new year. Thank you for a, a great last year. You know, I don't got tons and tons and tons of people watching, but I've got some people to keep checking up on me every every day or so. See that I'm not dead. Make sure I'm still doing all right. I'm doing all right. And thank you. Had, it was a good year last year. Um, so thank you for even taking a minute out of your day to tune in to catch up on what I'm doing. And uh, on my channel in general, I've been doing some sim stuff. I want to get back into uh, finishing up Baldur's Gate. I want to get back to Bannerlord. Uh, I might be checking out something that Will Wright's doing called Voxverse. Um, so I would like to get uh, get more going and get back to some other ones. Kind of into Rome Total War again, too. But I haven't been live streaming any of that. If you haven't interested in any of those particular titles, I wanted to get into cities. But right now, I keep inquiring, like, does food matter? Does the economy matter? And they're like, it's not there, man. Food doesn't matter. It comes from an imaginary place in the ether. And uh, there, there's no importing and exporting, really, at the moment that it's broken. And so... You know, until they work out some things like that, uh, I just really don't know that I want to get into cities. Uh, some people are saying they're not even going to do it, man. They're gonna, they're not going to do it. You're going to have to get mods or something. That add a, you know, who knows? I don't know yet. But right now, I'm on hold. I like that scratchy instrument, whatever that thing is. That piece of wood with the the knobs on it or ribs on it. about as much responsibility as I would want to be in a band if I was in a band I'm not good with music can I just have that little piece of wood over there with the that you make that scratchy noise with I, I can do that hey I'll be happy to and I'll put a big smile on get really into it yeah oh yeah I could do that all day Just imagine I'm wearing some big puffy, big puffy shirt. You know, the sleeves, the big puffy sleeves. Big smile on my fat face. Scratching on that wooden thing there. Dancing around. Making silly Benny Hill faces. Oh, don't stop. Oh, I need more. Like the cowbell thing. I need more. Uh. Can we rewind? I've never tried actually going back. Nah.
Pardon me, every now and then the drone wrote. Oop. One of my audio keys is tied to my number pad, which is tied to my drone. So if I haven't clicked back onto the simulator, it adjusts the volume. Okay, I was gonna say, the drone has a tendency to constantly be in a slow state of rotation. So you're gonna constantly see me making these, on these kind of views, making those kind of adjustments to level things out again. We can come down some more. Wow, what? We're only at, what? We're at eight. <laughs> well, we were supposed to flight level change down, Maggio. Down, boy. Dropping the throttle to about one third. Make sure she goes down. 67 miles to go. I just need to remember to put the throttle back in once we hit Maybe they're singing about vacuum cleaners. Roombas. No, Kenny, as you. He's talking about the Roombas cleaning that room so good. He doesn't have to vacuum at all anymore. He's got a Roomba. I'm so glad I bought my Roomba. Yeah, now my girlfriend doesn't even have to vacuum anymore. She comes and visits more often. He thinks I'm so clean now, but it's just the Roomba. I don't even ride my llama. I'm now starting to eat the llamas. Twice. My girlfriend loves me so much she wants to take me to Havana. And her name is Joanna. I was just going to come back on to tell you about... Um, I, I did find out where Cabo San Lucas is and Cabo Wobble is. <laughs> and, and it's all the way behind us and all the way on the other side. So we're not going to be going there. Anytime soon. We can always teleport over there, but... Stunning endorsement for Roomba. They should be so proud. <laughs> I got a cat that wants to go out one moment. You always manage to get in the middle of the live stream. Just 
Rubble. They're good cats, they Rubble. kind of music always reminds me of the little geeky guy at the dinner party making eyes at the really suave lady That, the look of love. Oop, damn button. <laughs> oh, what a morning. Finding videos this morning that would make me vibe. vibe with my favorite creator at one point Will Wright I really wanted to know you know what went wrong with the Sims and SimCity and what happened with Streets of SimCity and SimCopter and SimTower and they were all supposed to be able to be played together and then somebody said no we don't want the Sims that's stupid oh I did find that clip today where Will Wright says Everybody in the focus group, they liked a couple of the other ideas that we had for titles, but they hated. They all hated on The Sims. It wasn't called The Sims then, it was called Dollhouse. So when he pitched it, all those people were like, meh, nah, see, we don't want to do that, meh. And he listened to them. And he says that was the last time he said he ever listened to a focus group. But the damage was done. They went ahead and pushed through with SimCity after SimCity 2000 and they left them all like, well, they killed Streets of SimCity and they killed SimCopter and SimTower and SimEarth and SimAnt and Spore and SimCity Societies. They killed them all. And all they were left with was, was with The Sims. And everybody that was playing The Sims now in this generation, now they're all going, "Man, see, we we don't need no Sim City, meh, meh." And now they're getting ready to kill off The Sims. <laughs> and well, I hope not, because I'm still just such a huge Max's fan, and I don't know how he feels about it all anymore at all. He's doing this Vox thing now, which seems to be bringing a lot of these same ideas uh, together into what he's doing. So basically, it combines things like a SimCity experience with Streets of SimCity experience with... Uh, he, he didn't mention flying yet, but a whole bunch of different worlds, and now they're more in the future, and he wants to use blockchain and... NFTs and you'll have your own property or, uh, that you'll own and real jobs and a real economy and crazy and but that's exactly what we, what we want wanted initially as SimCity fans uh, we wanted them to continue that kind of greatness and Sims uh, SimCity 4 which is funny because Sims 4 and SimCity 4 are both at that point where they're either going to survive or the next thing that they release it's going to kill it. So the real death of SimCity 4, even though a lot of people love it, don't get me wrong, a lot of people love Sim 4. But Sims 4 at that point broke us from the idea that we could go into our cities after we create them. And then we could no longer drive in our cities and have great adventures and get shot at and shoot missiles and have machine guns and missile launchers and oil slicks and smoke screens and hover tires. 
Then, with the simcopter aspect of things, we were able to fly around, fight fires, help the police, do search and rescue, fly around our arcologies, again, in all the cities that we built. And then he created Dollhouse, which was going to allow us to, which became The Sims, which was going to then allow us to live inside of our cities. Whoops. There we go with that damn button again. Yeah, that button, the audio button, somehow tied to one of the the number nine key on my keyboard, on my number pad, and it activates full volume if pressed. And I haven't clicked back into the simulator. I was trying to rotate the simulator back to the level again. Forty-four miles. So yes. So while Sims, Sims 4 was great, the very next thing they really released after that was SimCity 2012. And we kept telling them, go back please to the original idea so we can have all these other ways to experience our cities. And they didn't, and they didn't listen to us and they killed it. Nothing's ever dead. They could always try to Phoenix it back. And they should really try to bring back SimCity. Silly not to. And not to at least been releasing, re-releasing them and making sure that they play and look good. It's really rather rude and and mean to not at least be re-releasing all the old sim games. It's cruel, That's what it is, cruel. But I, maybe they don't want you to see SimCity 2000 and make and make you realize once again that, wow, we could build cities, we could fly in them, we could drive in them, and we can live in them. And I had no idea what what was going to become of The Sims or how great The Sims could become, and all the amazing stuff you could do with them. But now I do. And now, I'm even more sad that we were denied as SimCity fans. I always wanted The Sims from the first moment I heard about it. I always wanted to be able to have The Sims in my SimCities. But now I want them even more because they can. now you can make amazing Sims. And construct. you can construct really interesting societies. And let's say you wanted to make sure that all of your schools, not only do you have good schools, but you made sure you created unique Sims to be the teachers. And you've got enough unique teacher Sims out there that you created that are all awesome. And now you're getting pluses and bonuses to your education system. Right? Let's say you're into criminals and you create a bunch of criminals. Well, man, now it's going to be like uh, before, where they're going to be going into other areas. Not only your region causing havoc in your area, they can go wherever they want into other people's areas or, or other regions that you own. And they can really bring a society down and cause a lot of economic trouble because the crime, or you might like the crime. They might, you know, depends on how you want to play. I normally like creating a bunch of criminals to make things bad, but then I love creating the good guys. Max's man and all a bunch of cops and detectives so that they really go after my bad guys. And like Sims 2 and Sims 3, you could really make that happen. Sims 4, you, you really can't. They're really dumb. And they really are meaningless at this point. They don't do anything. All the teachers you create really have no effect overall on the worlds in general and how education operates. Having an abundance of doctors doesn't help with all those amazingly random deaths that people are experiencing now with neighbor stories on. All the criminals that I've created, nah, they're pretty much meaningless. They haven't converted everybody into criminals yet. There's no city hall for there to be a protest for me to know if people are mad that there's so many criminals now running around. All the cultural sims, all the great artists and actors and actresses that I create, they do nothing for tourism or culture or... Right, so all of these things that made that you, that the sims needs now, you know, 
to be great. It's Sim City, Streets of Sim City. Everybody's like, I want to drive, man. And they're even caving. They're like, I just want to be able to see like a transition of me and my car. Why would you cave for something as simple as that? That's the least you deserve. Again, if you, uh, this, this new generation, it's been so long now that this current generation of Sims players has no point of reference. They don't know, they've never played SimCity. And if they did, they didn't play SimCity 2000 and they didn't know that they could create a city and then drive in it and fly in it and be a Sim in it. Well, you can't be a Sim in it, at, they didn't do that. Anyway, that's where they're at. And now other people are coming along now with the great software engines like uh, the, like Enzo is going to be using the Unreal 5 engine to create their Sims Sims life simulator. And because it's the Unreal 5 engine, they're going to be able to drive and fly and swim and go to other planets and all these things that the Sim people have been freaking out asking for for years now. And Max is... They always like show the greatness and then they pull the rug out from underneath you and keep nerfing everything down to the point of stupidity. To the point where people stop buying and they, they kill it. And then they laugh all the way to the bank. But I think it would be better of them. Man, look at some of the stuff here. Look at the groundwork going on over here. Where they've stripped. I wonder if this was a complex at one point. Or if this is a... Uh, an area of interest archaeologically I don't know it could just be a an earthwork but it seems awfully uh -huh, uh -huh, buttons hmm. That seems like a lot of work to make sure that that is cleared. Unless, yeah, just why would all of a sudden that all this just be empty? Huh. Either way, we're getting into an interesting, yeah, so the farmland. See all the interesting patterns down there? Okay. <laughs> Either way, we're getting into some really <coughs> interesting territory coming up here where we're going to be going backwards in time to pyramid cultures pyramid building cultures and it's it's the question i always have it always leads me to at some point in a discussion is there are pyramids everywhere in the world Where are the ones in North America? Why? What is with this whole, like, conspiracy theory crap going on in America? Oh, the Smithsonian said we had this, and they found giants, and they found ancient ruins in the Grand Canyon, and... Oh, uh, now Smithsonian is like, well, we, 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 we've lost all that. What do you mean you've lost all that? You're the Smithsonian. The whole world entrusts you. You don't lose stuff like that. That's crap. That's a, that's a lie. Museums don't lose stuff. That's the whole point. But yet there's pyramids everywhere. There's ancient ruins everywhere. Unbelievable ancient ruins like what we're heading into. One of the pyramids down here in Mexico is the largest pyramid in the world so far. It has a bigger base than the Great Pyramids in Egypt. Oh, forgot to put the... Supposed to remind me to put the... <laughs> I can't put it on you. It's me. Making sure we got the throttle back in. We're getting dangerously close to a stall. We're 27 miles. Let's see if we can radio it in. Get clearance. I'd also like to know what makes that noise, that whoop whoop noise. No real scritchy scritch in this one.
Okay, we're looking for this right here. Tahin. Tajin. Tahin. MMPA. The wind is blowing from behind us. So we're going to want rock. Let's see if they assign us a runway or we get to pick. Runway 8. Altimeter 2975. Set. All right. Okay, so we've got our uh, landing already all set now. Good. Uh oh, and we got cloud coverage. I can always turn off the clouds. We wouldn't have seen anything yesterday had I not just defaulted to clear skies. Everything was completely cloud covered and thick clouds, too. This is rather hazy ahead of us. Looks like it's going to get thicker, though. But yeah, everything was. Th Thick, low, low clouds. Couldn't see any of Monterey. And then I got the bright idea to understand that I can change the, uh, the weather. Keep going south down into Peru. The giant megalithic stones of some of those places. I don't know if we'll be able to see anything if we go down towards Bolivia. But we're going to keep going south and go around the southern. Come over here. Yeah, all of a sudden, like pyramids cut off here in the world and then there's no pyramids north of this spot of where we're at come on come on man but yet there's a ton of them right where we're at and then as we come south over here and up towards cancun there's a whole bunch of them throughout all of this region and it just keeps going and there's pyramids everywhere as you keep going south. And we're gonna just keep going south. Yeah, everybody at some point in the past just said, ah, come on, let's let's just leave America. I don't know what they called it back then. Let's just leave the United States completely pyramidless. That'll give them something to think about. <laughs> But we'll put it we'll put pyramids everywhere else. Oh, what a laugh. All these other people out here, I'm seeing other pilots now that are using push talk radio right now. Now, normally this thing, actually, if you're not listening to the audio tour stuff, and we haven't passed any today so far to trigger any audio. Um, I'm in the wrong place. That's not me. Yeah, there hasn't been any any near us.
That's a lot of clapping. One thousand four hundred and eighty three feet. All right. Let's go to one thousand five hundred. Light level change and bring back the throttle. You notice that you've initiated a flight level change and the plane does not start descending. Yeah, it, your throttle might be fully open. And that's just in general using autopilots. The autopilots will not begin a descent <laughs> downward for a flight level change at full throttle. Gotta have it pulled back. I wonder if we can get underneath it or it's going to be hazy all the way to the ground. We're on an adventure, Dr. Jones. Maybe half at best. All right. Pretty hazy, sir. All right, let me turn off the autopilot. Feliz esos ojitos 
It feels so much like cheating to be using the pattern, but that's the kind of future we're going to, you know, with, I guess with like glass windshields, I know that sounds stupid, but that's what they call these displays, digital displays in the cockpit. They call them glass cockpits, glass devices. Well, now they're talking about glass, glass. glass windows and I know that sounds dumb right well yeah of course it's a glass window no no a glass glass window what do you mean it means your digital display information can be displayed on your your window right so you would be able to see something like the the landing pattern displayed Living in the future, man. You think it's cheating? I'll turn it off. But what? We clipped a tree? What? No, really. I came in too low. I thought for sure. Oh, this leads to so many problems. Among them, Neofly, if it registers all the damages to the plane, that wipes out any profit that we've made and may put us back in the hole. It's asking me if I want to restart. Oh, painful. Painful and embarrassing. Really, though, it didn't it look like I was completely in the clear. I thought so. Okay. We will minimize this. It cleared our job. And it doesn't show us in Neoflies being anywhere at the moment. We might have to rent another plane. It knows that we're at MMP <laughs> now. Yeah, it knows that we wrecked that plane. Shoot. Where we where were we going to MMEQ? If they've got this one here. I need to look at the map. What is the name of this airport where we just crashed at? MMPA. 
Okay. So it's going to spawn us there at, M at MMPA. Well, now I'm thinking we should rent a helicopter since we're here. Because this is where we're going to. This is our first pyramid over here. Nah, I still want the jobs. We can always pause and do a... Uh... Yeah, we lost our deposit. And now we have to move the plane to our location. Bring aircraft to pilot location. $30,000 to move the plane. So it's moving the plane now to us. And we have to assign ourselves as the pilot again. So we're back to 9,755,000. Ouch. And it's got a little bit of hull damage. That's going to be probably five or 6,000. Watch. 6,000. Yep. It needs a tune-up. That's gonna be about, I don't know, probably 3,000. Yep, 3,500. Yeah, and we paid for repairs yesterday. Well, that's what happens, folks. You win some, you lose some. Okay, so now, I need to go back to the main menu and make sure we're at MMPA. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. No, I thought I had it for sure. I crashed this Dr. Jones.
All right, you see how it's between these two highways here? And it's right before we get to Apantla de Olarte. So, there's Poza Rica. There's Papant, Papantla de Olarte. All right, so this is probably it. Or this. Yeah, those look like pyramids. Sure enough. See if I can get us a job going that way and that see if we can get it to track us in here. Thing, we're going to be going in that way. Okay, it is showing us. There we are. All right. This thing is so touchy. They've got a Las Vegas, Mexico. Can make it where we're at here and we're flying down to here uh let me approximately feel like 120 no One fifty. Getting our heading set up for one five zero or thereabouts.
We should be about on this heading. Looks like we're heading right to, to it. A few minutes after the hour. Oh, I'm so mad. If I wouldn't have crashed, it would have been by the 20 minute mark. Great place to have a smoke break. I doubt I could make it there in two minutes. Colombian archaeological site in southern Mexico and is one of the largest and most important cities of the classic era of Mesoamerica. A part of the classic Veracruz culture, El Tajín flourished from 600 to 1200 CE and during this time numerous temples, palaces, ball courts, and pyramids were built. From the time the city fell, in 1230, to 1785, no European seems to have known of its existence, until a government inspector chanced upon the Pyramid of the Niches. El Tajín, named after the Totonac rain god, was named a World Heritage Site in 1992, due to its cultural importance and its architecture. This architecture includes the use of decorative niches and cement in forms unknown in the rest of Mesoamerica. Its best-known monument is the Pyramid of the Niches, but other important monuments include the Arroyo Group, the north and south ball courts and the palaces of Tajín Chico. In total there have been 20 ball courts discovered at this site. Since the 1970s, El Tajín has been the most important archaeological site in Veracruz for tourists, attracting 386,406 visitors in 2017. It is also the site of the annual Cumbre Tajín Festival, which occurs each March featuring indigenous and foreign cultural events, as well as concerts by popular musicians. Pass it? I think I did. That looks like that stuff ahead of us here. It's that orange building down there. Okay. Those are all modern. Are they? These are all modern here. Here. Go this way a bit. Da, da, da.
Because those certainly do not look like pyramids. Let me check this. Yeah, it says we're on it. And basically, it is saying that is it. And that's the only, that's the way that Microsoft is showing it. Do 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 yeah. After showing. Dun 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 dun. dun. That's a drag if that's, I mean, uh, if that's Microsoft doing it. I mean, that's the best that they got at the moment. All right. I didn't expect that everything was going to be visualized in the simulator. But yeah, this, we're in the right area. All that. That's kind of a bust. Pause again. Uh. That's something there, but again, not being not being visualized or not been three D'd. Do 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 do. Well, that is unfortunate. Let's hope that uh, some of the more well-known ones, couple of the sun, I, I mean, they're so damn big. I can imagine. And popular, I can't imagine that they won't, but I don't know. Will we get there?
Well, alrighty then. So let's make our way now to east to Teotihuacan. Do, 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 do. That's another ruins, Cantona. More ruins there. Coke is a Mesoamerican archaeological site located in Oops. western Tlaxcala State, central Mexico. Don't need you. How is it not just sticking right out at us? East Xiwatile is a 5,230 meters door. Well, that one's... I might as well just go to the one that's nearest. No, that's just a city. So much easier on being. There, Teotihuacan municipality. Mexican Air Force Museum, huh? Okay, so we need to go here. My lord, I keep clicking the wrong thing. I'm so sorry. At the pyramid complex there. Yeah, Pyramid of the Sun and Pyramid of the Moon are over there. All right, so we've just got to go now. We're at 120. 250. Oh well. Throttle back up. Get back over to our... See what this over, is over here. speeding
You notice she's running like dog poop. See if this helps the processor. He's running really bad right now. Looks like these get pretty high over here. We're going, it says that deep red on the map so i'm gonna bring us up to nine might have to go higher than nine thousand gotta get get up on top of some mountains here Darn you, Microsoft. Ah, they can't be responsible for everything. Ah, how was the first two? <laughs> I was so excited that Microsoft was even coming back to make a simulator. I got into the alpha early on. And was in the conversations uh, before the official forums came up. And I'm like, this is going to be so historic. You guys are coming back. You're making all this. Uh, you know, the, uh, the history of flight with the history of flight and the simulator, da, da 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 You know, you should really get the history channel involved. Something to do with flying and the simulator and yeah, whatever. But more importantly than that, you should really get the history channel ancient aliens program involved. And maybe they can do it with 2024 by creating these small patches of earth that are super high detailed, super highly detailed that you can actually, you know, go over to maybe even land a helicopter, drive, explore a little bit, but provided by the history channel, all the great archeological sites in high definition 
for Microsoft Flight Simulator. But I wanted the Ancient Aliens download, the Ancient Aliens DLC for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I still want it for things like that. I want to fly down here to see some... Some modern buildings where there's supposed to be ancient ruins. I surely don't want to be disappointed when we go into Teotihuacan. I mean, it's super popular. I mean, everybody knows that one. This whole complex better be there. So this is where we're at now. We have a little bit of a jaunt. A little bit. It's not that far, but... We're over here. Lose it again. Lost pyramids. We've got to make it over here. So we're pointing the right direction. Man, I was so excited. And I got to calm down again. Get back into relax mode for this next hop. That was my cursor. weird oh I see the number key there we go by the way we are in the land of people that built pyramids and there's a lot probably under the ground I mean you never know probably one right there there's a lot that they haven't found but we are in the neighborhood and the old stomping grounds of people that built pyramids They said they're everywhere, and that there's lots and lots and lots that have not been uncovered.
Quiero amarte así y desearte así para siempre. Yeah, hopefully we're high enough now. Probably didn't need to be up this high, but better safe than sorry after that landing. make out these like ripples rippled outward hey is this the song with that scritchy again That 
It's a nice, interesting plateau. Man. This is all far out here. I like it. Hey, I just found I have a super, 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 super dear friend who's in the hospital and I really don't even know what for yet. Doesn't seem like super, like, threatening. I'm not really certain what it is. Could it just be a gallstone or something? I don't know enough information yet. All I know is a friend of mine that I just, just have loved my whole life is in a hospital gown. You could collectively out there send a little thought and prayer out into the ether. You know? Close your eyes. Say, hey, Kin's friend, he needs some help. That's, you know, that's good. That's all. It's just, just that. No more, no less, really just, hey. Kinney's friend needs to get better. Tony's friend needs to get better. That's completely unacceptable, and I don't like it, no sir. I hope all of you are doing well. Sending out my own little thoughts and prayers for everybody who might stop in. I don't just the whole world in general, but you in particular. You who happen to tune in now or made it to this point in the video, the live stream, I'll give that to you. Cheers. Oh, we're getting close. I'm kind of wondering if we'll clear the next one. It should give us another 500 feet or so. hard to say.
Oh. I'm gonna give us a little bit more. Perspective is such a trip because in here it looks like we're gonna crash But outside It might be like nah you got it So hard to tell heading oh I said autopilot disengaged entirely yeah we we're probably gonna clip we got another big boy ahead of us Holding at Near the top of another hour. Amor com você é como o sol brilhante no céu. 
doce imensa luz e por toda a vida meu coração apaixonado não sofrerá mais Cerro El Agua Azul. I don't know what Cerro is. Water, blue water. Cerro Peña del Aguila. Aguila. that we didn't see in El, uh, El Tajin, Tajin back there at the coast uh, it has the distinction of being called like the pyramid of niches so normally like the ones we're going to they just look like they're stepped almost all the way to the top but on the sides of the one that we just were at it has like imagine square windows little niches little windows that recess backwards a little ways and the sides are filled with these little niches that recess back into the sides of the pyramid and you know you the first thing you think is well they're all little rooms i don't know that they go back that far And I really would have liked to have seen it. Uh, but all I've seen is some photographs. But yeah, if, if you see it, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. I haven't really seen one like that before. It definitely has a, a unique look to it. Bum, 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 bum. And we are now here. This is the Zero D... Chi Chi In Chi Ung Oh man Hung Nigo Mountain There over right now Okay, so that is right where we're at. And we're going to be passing Glan Nalapa on our right. Tepe Apolco now directly to our left. Suidad Sahagan, 
A Sahagin is a monster in Dungeons and Dragons. The water monster. Sahagin. Okay. And then beyond that, some highway. San Miguel Omatusco. Hero San Isidrio. Is Isidro. It's done a lot of stuff. And there's the complex ahead of us. Got to pass Axapuxo. All of this. Read them all off, but cut through all this, and then the complex is here. See what the room to open the street maps. But you can definitely make out that that is a pyramid there. Give the music kick back on, and as we move into this next hour, should be there shortly. Yeah, real soon. Making a good time. coming up sooner than later, so I should start our descent. I need to change the sensitivities. Keep touching. This discovery has been found by another user, but has not been published yet. Two dots coming up on our side. Somebody's going to publish something probably about that place there. Not getting any readout on it. Oh, yeah. Don't know what that is.
Come on. You're kidding me. Come on, really? There's nothing here to be seen? A whole lot of nothing here, too. I am disappointed. Unless I am not seeing it. Let's double check them out here. Supposed to be to our right. Teotihuacan is an ancient Mesoamerican city located in a sub-valley of the Valley of Mexico, which is located in the state of Mexico, 40 kilometers northeast of modern-day Mexico City. Teotihuacan is known today as the site of many of the most architecturally significant Mesoamerican pyramids built in the pre-Columbian Americas. It is the most important and largest pre-Columbian city in Mexico. At its zenith, Perhaps yeah. in the first half of the first millennium CE, Teotihuacan was the largest city in the pre-Columbian Americas, with a population estimated Ooh, uh, at 125,000 right or more, making it at least the sixth largest city in the world during its epoch. After the collapse of Teotihuacan, central Mexico was dominated by the Toltecs of Tula until about 1150 CE. The city covered eight square miles, 80 to 90 percent of the total population of the valley resided in Teotihuacan. Apart from the pyramids, Teotihuacan is also anthropologically significant for its complex, multifamily residential compounds, the Avenue of the Dead, and its vibrant, well-preserved murals. Additionally, Teotihuacan exported fine obsidian tools that are found throughout Mesoamerica. The city is thought to have been established around 100 BCE, with major monuments continuously under construction until about 250 CE. The city may have lasted until sometime between the 7th and 8th centuries CE, but its major monuments were sacked and systematically burned around 550 CE. It began as a religious center in the Mexican highlands around the 1st century CE. It became the largest and most populated center in the pre-Columbian Americas. Teotihuacan was home to multi-floor apartment compounds built to accommodate the large population. The term Teotihuacan is also used for the whole civilization and cultural complex associated with the site. Although it is a subject of debate whether Teotihuacan was the center of a state empire, its influence throughout Mesoamerica is well documented. Evidence of Teotihuacano presence can be seen at numerous sites in Veracruz and the Maya region. 
The later Aztecs saw these magnificent ruins and claimed a common ancestry with the Teotihuacanos, modifying and adopting aspects of their culture. The ethnicity of the inhabitants of Teotihuacan is the subject of debate. Possible candidates are the Nahua, Otomi or Totonac ethnic groups. Scholars have suggested that Teotihuacan was a multi-ethnic state since they find cultural aspects connected to the Maya as well as Otopamine people. The city and the archaeological site are located in what is now the San Juan Teotihuacan municipality and the state of Mexico, approximately 40 kilometers northeast of Mexico City. The site covers a total surface area of 83 square kilometers and was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. It is the most visited archaeological site in Mexico, receiving 4,185,017 visitors in 2017. The name Teotihuacan was given by the Nahuatl-speaking Aztec centuries after the fall of the city. I'm looking up now how to turn off the autogen buildings. And this may be a, a developer tool. Use the polygon object and draw around the area. Select the polygon properties and enable the exclusion options. I have no idea what that means, but this guy's like, thanks, managed to figure it out. Any chance you know how to remove the autogen trees too? <laughs> so I'm halfway there. I mean, it seems that you can do it. So if we can turn off that autogen building, at least we could see uh, the plane satellite imagery. But look what it's done. It's put this giant building over the pyramid. How do you remove the autogen? Da, 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 da. More of us turning off photogrammetry due to performance. All right, well, let's try turning that off, see what happens. That'd be what we want right we want the we want the photogrammetry right <clears throat> bing data world graphics on and photogrammetry off what does that do Let's... Do, 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 do. Photogrammetry looks much better than autogen to me. Didn't do anything. Okay, so. So you have to have this on to have this on. Off. On, on, turn this off, that goes to disabled. Let me read a little bit more here with more of us turning on. Da -da 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 -da. Autogen artifacts rendering my problem. Stable autogen. Go to official one store FS base vegetation. That's for vegetation. Yeah, this is all developer stuff. Autogen may be excluded by adding an airport background poly of the proper type. This is a terrain poly, and if AFX doesn't support the type of element, then you could use an ADE or S Builder X to do that. Ick. Uh, flattened polygons. Normally, da 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 da. I have version 108, so you need the. Okay, this is awful. What a bust. What an absolute bust. This whole uh, flying down to Mexico to, well, it was just to get to Mexico. That's all it was is first, just cross country. But while we're here, yeah, let's make it a quest to see all these cool pyramids down here. And now we're sunk. 20 minutes after the hour. 
Oh, man. Smoke if you got him. I need it anyway to take my mind uh, off of... I don't want to blow my stack, you know? So... Turn on the music and get to the smoke break and then... What we're going to do... I don't even know if it's worth it now trying to find any of the others. We found the locations. Yippee! Uh, another thing I could try to look up is see if anybody's made them. Um. Mexico Pyramids for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Mexico for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Download free Mexico scenery and landscapes. Okay, I think we might be onto something here. Download free Mexico scenery and landscapes from Microsoft Flight Simulator. Enhance your virtual flight. Da, 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 da. Pop up. Cancun, Mexico City. These so far is just cities. Airports. Airports. Stadiums. Cabo San Lucas. I yeah, have been there. That looks familiar. Nope. Nobody. Go back and look at other search. Mexico City landmarks. That's city. Missing pyramids in Mexico. Here's a topic on the flight simulator forums. Missing pyramids in Mexico. General discussion. Community support. North America. Da 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 da. -da. So I was flying in Mexico to see if they had the Pyramid of the Sun as well as the Pyramid of the Moon. That's right where we're at. Very cultural buildings. However, I saw both were replaced by buildings. Just wanted to ask if this was a bug in the game, since the Great Pyramid of Giza seems to be placed correctly. Let's see what the reply is. I understand it. Anything the Black Shark AI cannot generate has to be built and placed by hand. So they haven't had yet time to build every important building in the world, so there are glaring omissions like the London Eye or the Tokyo Tower, which currently looks like this. Ah. Uh. Uh, all right, so turn this stuff back on. That's on. Man. So all we really have are, you know, our virtual tamales that, uh, another thing I came down here for, the great Mexican, uh, tamales. We are right next, next door to Mexico City now. So lunch is on me again. And the Al Pastor tacos, that's another thing I really want to try. That stuff that they carve, they build up these little stacks like the, uh, like in the Greek restaurants or the pita stacks. Oh man, we're gonna eat good today, no matter if we see any darn pyramids in the, in the game or not. We're mentally going to eat some good food. Sorry, I'm still taking care of smoking stuff over here. I need a smoke smoke break screen. 
best I can do is um What a bust. What a bust. Darn you, History Channel, for not coming out with the Ancient Aliens pack for Microsoft Flight Simulator. There's some money to be made. All you gotta do is make some 3D buildings. If I had half a brain, which I don't, you know, I should get out there and make a penny on it at this point. Knock up some pyramids and put it out there as a DLC. I'm not the only one who is sad. All right, let's see if anybody else, let me do another search. City of Teo Tablecon for Microsoft Flight Simulator. City of Teo Tablecon. That's it. The default scenery for the pre-Hispanic city, at least we get Teo Tewakon. Due to lack of custom models and Bing photogrammetry for this area, the Black Shark AI attempts to construct the site automatically by interpreting the 2D satellite imagery. However, users will note significant structures like the Pyramid of the Sun are representing a large warehouse. This add-on attempts to address this issue by presenting users with a much improved and far more accurate overhaul of the Teo Tewakon. In addition to various ruins, this add-on includes the major buildings such as Pyramid of the Sun, Moon Temple of the Feathered Serpent, also known as the Temple of Quetzalcoatl. As neither Bing nor Google have photogrammetry data for the city, photogrammetry data acquired by the cultural heritage Chochimilco. Oh boy. Further manual modifications were made, including cropping away access data, fine-tuning, Um, extensive terraforming and tree adjustments were also made to help mesh the photogrammetry more seamlessly. Where adequate photogrammetry is lacking, and this does not include visitor centers or other modern buildings situated near the site. Users are encouraged to use this add on in conjunction with Derenke's excellent MSFS 2020 Google Map Replacement Tool. You do, it's not necessary to install this add-on included satellite imagery. New or higher resolution model of the Pyramid of the Sun acquired by Cultural Heritage. Updates to the Google derived satellite imagery. Minor updates to the textures and model of the museum. So do you need Let's see, is, where's the, uh, is there any install information? see if I missed any information here we might be able to get this one we're not gonna probably get the others let's see that was made in 2020 
The scenery contains Modelib BGL, which conflicts as per Sobo's uh, recommendations. See the section here on CDDs being caused by the scenery and how to fix it. Can you please fix it? Well, there's no information, though, on what to do. Uh, all I can think to do is put it in the community folder and then restart, I guess. Extract it there. downloading yeah it says it has four minutes left yeah you can make out the corners of the pyramid here up to the top and you can kind of see it around the base there base is out here yeah this is the the plaza or the walkway the giant Call it Main Street. So all these are little pyramids around here. One of these is Pyramid of Sun, Moon, Cut Squaddle, yada yada yada. I believe I heard in one documentary on the place that all the structures were surfaced with mica. And that mica has an uh, electric property or is able to carry a current to distribute a current but the nearest mica is like a thousand miles away and supposedly at one point I that's what they say I'll have to double check but they said er, you know everything was covered with mica You know, and with the way, you know, computer chips and look and motherboard layout. I mean, what? why did they need to do that? Just because it looked cool? That they needed to cover every surface with mica? Or was there something electric? Electromagnetic? You know, you've heard things about there being mercury pools and... Other things, I mean, what? What is that all about? Where are we at on this download? Such a small download. I mean, like 300 meg. 440 meg. Acting like we're back in the Napster days. Yeah, I'm trying to download something, so just bear with me. See if we can get this thing installed, maybe restart the simulator and see what we get so that's cool if we get this one we'll call it a victory and uh you know we'll just have to wait for a pack that puts all of them in or somebody to do what's going on here I've heard some of them, they won't let you walk on anymore. And that's just a damn shame. I mean, come on, really? I get it, but I don't get it. 
So this leaves me a little hope that as I was thinking, well, let's keep going. Let's go down to Bolivia. Let's go check out Tiwanaku and keep going further and further. I don't know if Nazca's around. I don't know if, um, you know, Peru. Now I can't think of the name of the place in Peru. But all the structures of Peru, you know, probably the same thing at the moment. Don't. Another thing we could do is go to the main menu. Which I didn't think to do. All right, let's open this thing here. Copy. Now we need to find the community folder. I can remember which drive this is on, I guess. All right, come on, where's my community folder? I usually don't install stuff, so. The names would be too long for the destination folder. You can shorten the file name and try again. Oh, really? Will be too long for the destination folder. Shorten the file name and try again. River Sky High Teotihuacan. All right, well, skip it, I guess. The file name would be too long for the destination folder. To shorten the file name and try again. Try a location that has a shorter path. What the? The hell? What is all that? I don't even know what that means.
Read me text, huh? All right. Copy the River Sky High Teo Teo Gun folder to your FS2020 community folder. Optional, copy the River Sky High Teo Teo satellite folder to your drive. But it says the dang names are too long. All right. All right, so rename them. But what, now I can't rename it? Properties. Oh my lord only. My lord, I can't now I can't change I can't change the name. Oh, I see. Maybe. Okay. So I'm trying to fix the names or trying to shorten the folder names. Organization does not allow you to place this file here. What? What a pain in the butt. There is no longer located in da 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 da. Not find this item. What in the hell? Organization does not allow you to place this file. And then it won't give you any more details. No paste ad as administrator. All right, well, I'm not going to mess with this anymore. It's already 345 anyway, so. We'll just wrap up today's show right here as a complete and total bust on finding pyramids and I'll look into finding out what's up with these here and why this won't install now and my uh, why I can't put this in the community folder now so folks I'm sorry I the best intentions you know Wanted to show you a good time, show me a good time. 
and we got nothing today. So. So, figure out what to do tomorrow. Maybe explore Mexico City, maybe just start on heading back now, or I don't know, maybe just keep going south. Whether we see pyramids or not. You know, we'll go to the... Actually, let's do that now. Let's go to the world map and at least look at what they have set up. As far as landmarks down here. That plane always makes me think of Indiana Jones. The only one is down here. Cancun's over here. Uh, let me make sure that the filters are right. What? There we are. Landmarks is on. So nothing. Yeah, there's none down there. These are hard to hover over and get any information on. Okay, the Johnson Space Center. All right. Well, Mexico is entirely a bust. There's not going to be any hope for Nazca. No, nothing. Well, we've still never flown any of this. This is the... Probably, again, other than just trans teleporting into a location, uh, we've never flown this far south. Just continuously. Some interesting looking landscape right there. Okay. Didn't switch over. Sorry. Um, you were looking at the be right back screen. See, there's nothing here in Mexico. There's no points of interest or landmarks at all. There's some star places, but what we're looking for is these ones with exclamation points. Right? So, for example, the San Antonio Missions, Johnson Space Center. Right, any point there's an ex any where there's an exclamation point, it's a landmark. Ellis County Courthouse, yeah, Ellis County Courthouse, but no pyramids, really. So as you see, as we zoom in, and I was scanning down through Mexico and going south, there's nothing. F and F Tower. And down here, nothing. Price the Redeemer, yeah, that's a big one.
Ah, oh, there's Princess Juliana, huh? I always wonder where that was. That one landing challenge to land right on the beach there. Oh, well, now we know. I thought Juliana was over here somewhere. Mediterranean. Any of you use this thing for real world weather? Checking the, the weather? This stuff is all real. You just sit here and watch them a minute. Let me zoom in a little bit more. That stuff's moving. That's not just some satellite uh, bitmap drawn on the world. Those clouds are moving. If you've never explored the filters out here, it's pretty cool too. Like wind effect. Round level wind effect. Pretty snazzy. There's the low winds. There's high winds. Yeah. Precipitation map. off IFR a blend of IFR and satellite neat stuff huh all right do 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 that's all folks uh what is tomorrow saturday maybe i'll see you tomorrow i keep saying i'll we'll do it tomorrow we'll do it tomorrow keep forgetting tomorrow's saturday no tomorrow's dungeons and dragons day and then definitely tomorrow night dungeons and dragons we'll see yeah because i gotta be over there at three so probably not again till monday folks i hope you have a fantastic weekend uh, i might be doing some more sim stuff tonight. i don't know what i'm gonna be doing tonight but I really need to get back into finishing up those other titles I started and never got around to completing. So have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you Monday. Yay, yay, yay. Darn you, Microsoft. Play us out. It's one of those scritchy things. Scritch, 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 scritch. Friend in the hospital, get better soon.